First and foremost, I apologize for any traffic noise that you're hearing. Um, we are kidding down the last half of DAC's dragon attack without the exclamation point. Uh, yes, that was a little bit of confusion when I ordered this. I will bring you in and show you a few details. It is pretty cool. Um, I did not do this one. My boyfriend did this. You can see all the lovely sparkle. See the ABs in the wing there. There's a bunch of ABs over here and this greenery. ABs in the fiery sails. is a very large diamond painting. It took him quite a while to get it done. We'll put all of the info here in a second. So there's all the info on this diamond painting. I am also going to show you the setup. All those 3D printed trays there. They all have lids, they all have tabs to put the labels that come with the kits fit perfectly on there. We'll get more into that here in a minute. Alright, I'm going to pause it and I'm going to get set up and then we will do some kitten down. Okay, we're going to kit down the last half of this wonderful kit. Dragon attack. My trays are over here off to the side. Uh, as you can see, this one does not have a label. That is because we had an incident. And I will say that Diamond Art Club does stand by their OOPS insurance. And we were able to finish the kit, get what we need, finish the kit, and it came out beautifully. They sent them very quickly, and it was exactly what we needed, so thank you Diamond Art Club. Uh, a little bit of info on supplies that I'm using. These reclosable bags here, they are from Walmart. There are 100 in a bag. I get the two by one and a half inch because they fit perfectly in my drawer that I store them in. I also got these labels from AliExpress. I'm sure you can get them on Amazon too. It is a very large roll. I want to say there's 2,500-ish, I think, probably more. Who knows? So those are the labels I'm using. If you're asking why I am not using the labels that are provided from Diamond Art Club. That is because they are made to be removed from whatever container it is that you're using to kit up with. Um, so they do not stick to these bags very well for a long period of time. So I just write down my number, my DMC number, put it on the bag, which like I said, this one does not have the label because of our incident, but I do know that it is number 37 from how it is arranged on my thing over there. So I'm going to check out my chart on my canvas and that DMC number is 796. So I write that on there. 
my wonderful Arteza ink on it. Highly recommend these for multiple reasons. Uh, a little more on these trays. They are from Wilson 3D Art, Wilson 3D Printing. I'll have to look that up. I will put a link in the description. I will link everything that I've used in this video in the description. Get it in my bag, close it up, get the air out, stick it in there. Uh, they all have lids. These are the stackable trays. They usually come in a two pack and they only have one lid because one stacks on the other and then there's a lid. Um, I did get these separate little tab things for the labels. They are fantastic. Um, shout out to Pam at Wilson 3D Printing, 3D Art. Great, great people. Um, I did special order for my setup that I have and they were great to work with. I got 72 individual trays with individual lids. Uh, and in six different colors, so 12 of each color, and they got here pretty quickly. I was impressed and surprised with the turnover and their professionalism. Uh, highly recommend. I enjoy them. They are fantastic. They hold a lot. Um, I do like the lids. They do prevent some mishaps, but not when you throw them on the floor. However, none of them broke when they fell on the floor. So there's a plus there also. Uh, just overall very happy with this product. I also, if you couldn't tell, have my stand that I had mentioned in my last video. It is set up and being used. It is quite fantastic. Also, um, I will link that. That was from a store on Amazon. I missed one. And if I don't remember which one I just did, it's always the top label on my little pile here. $7.97. I'm glad I checked. So this one goes in here. And then I put my tray back in its holder. Um, I will also link the little shelf things that I have that's holding all of these trays. That too is from Amazon. Um, I have gotten other things from the shop that I got the shelves from. For my coloring things, which, you know, eventually we'll get to that. Again, I apologize if you hear any traffic noise. I live in small town USA downtown above a store. It is a flooring store that my boyfriend actually owns. Uh, and that is my day job. We sell and install flooring. It is very physically draining and doing these crafts helps me relax and gets all the crazy ideas out of my head that are in there and probably distracting me from work.
like once I get past explaining things, which will probably be very soon, I will speed it up, do a little time lapsing if I can figure that out. I am new to the, the rodeo here. Uh, I'm just going to continue on, finish this up, and hopefully we won't have any mishaps or run out of phone battery. And when I'm done, I'll catch you at the end. All right, that was the last one. As you can see, my drawer is full. It is not in order. Every once in a great while, I will go through and put them all in order. I will probably need to get another drawer. I label it Diamond Art Club Square. I do have Diamond Art Club Round. I have General Population Round, and I have other specific brands that I label the drawers for. Um, I also do not combine same colors, same numbers, because they are not always the same. Perfect example, these two, both, 743, very different colors. Uh, in some instances it wouldn't matter, in some it very much does. So I do keep them separate. Uh, and these go right behind me. And I will pause and then I will show you that setup. So this is where my extra drills and other random supplies go. I did have a lot of these full and I got rid of my crappy drills and I'm only keeping good ones now. Um, so you can see here how they are labeled, general population round. I cannot say the name of the QZI one. <laughs> it's off of AliExpress. They do have very good drills and canvases. Um, you can see Diamond Art Club round, Diamond Art Club square, and down here is all kinds of supplies like wax, tweezers, tips, pens, bags, business cards. 
some more of the tabs for my things that I was just emptying out here, my trays from Wilson 3D Art. And I am not going to get into anything else that is close to this because I will have a video at some point of my whole art room. Yes, I do need to clean it up some though. That will be it for today. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. I will see you next time.